In this video, I want to show you how to use Akiva Backup Professional to restore a backup of your website. Now, I've installed Akiva Backup on a Joomla free installation, and I have already made a backup of the website, and I'll show you how to restore the backup. Click on Manage Backups, and here you'll see a list of backups available. For this website, there's just one. Now, before we go ahead, we should do a precaution, just in case things go wrong. So click here to download a copy of the, the backup onto your computer. And once you have downloaded the backup, we need to make sure that the downloaded backup actually works. Sometimes downloading a file can cause the corruption of the file. So go to Akiva Backup's website, uh, you can do a search in Google for this, uh, and search for, search for Akiva Extract Wizard. This is a program you can use on Windows, Linux or Mac to test a backup. Having found it, go to Downloads and download the version that you need for your, your computer system. Once you've downloaded and installed, open up the extract wizard, find the backup file that you've got, click open, and uh, select dry run to test it without actually extracting all the files onto your computer. And simply click extract. Now it will run through and at the end it will confirm whether or not it was able to extract all the files successfully. If there are any problems, then you might need to download the backup afresh. Let's go back to the website. I have already tested this before and I know it works okay. So we go back to the website and I want to restore this backup. Leave the settings as they are. To back to restore the backup to the same location as your website currently is located and click start restoration. Now this will take some time to do. Okay now the, the backup has uh, completed running and uh, we are going to run the, the site restoration script. Now as it tells us do not close this window at this point. Just click the button it opens up a new window and it will have all the settings set from before, from your previous installation. So normally you shouldn't need to, to double check any of the settings. They should all be okay because your website was already running Joomla and was already working okay. It will already have all the password details filled in so you don't have to worry about the database details. Click Next. Then next, again all the details should be in place, you shouldn't need to change anything. Now finally, when we get to this last screen where it tells us it is finished, go back to the previous page and here click finalize restoration. And that brings you back to, to your website and you can log in and everything should be working according to the the backup version that you're using. So uh, I hope this, this helps and uh, it's just a quick guide to how to use Akiva Backup Pro to restore your website from a backup.